quiero darle las gracias a los bomberos de Houston y a todas las personas de Houston por su hospitalidad, por todo lo que han hecho por nosotros. Esto es una oportunidad muy grande para mí, es venir a aprender cosas nuevas, hacer cosas que en mi vida había tenido la oportunidad de hacer y no muy feliz y muchas gracias a todos. Uh, my name is Fernando Romero. I'm originally from Colombia. Uh, this training has been amazing so far, you know, from what we've done. Uh, how would it help me um, to implement all this training and classes that they've given us? Is basically putting on practice back in, you know, the fire department where I come from. I instruct them on certain things, what they're doing wrong and what they're doing right while we're inside the building, even though it's really hard to hear in there and it's very dark because there's smoke all the way to the ground, there's zero visibility. And uh, I also had a thermal imaging camera, which allows me to read the actual temperature inside the room. Uh, this particular situation, we had about 600 to 700 degrees Fahrenheit in the actual fire room. And uh, these firefighters here, are, uh, aren't, aren't always exposed to these kind of conditions back where they're from. Soy bombero voluntario hace nueve años en Perú. Represento a mi país, Perú, a Trujillo, que se encuentra a nueve horas de la capital. Muy contento y muy feliz y orgulloso de representar a mi país y agradezco de todo corazón a Fire Foundation por la beca que me otorgaron para poder estar presente aquí. Y a todas las personas en Perú que no me escuchen, igualito los quiero y gracias, porque esto va a servir mucho para, mucho para mi cuerpo de bomberos del Perú. Gracias a Houston. Thank you, Houston. Um, well, the experience that we just learned here, it was a lot of things, yes, the, uh, we, we can share with another firefighter from here, from Houston. It was really great for us, yes, because we, we can teach now the old knowledge that we have acquired here in, in Houston to, uh, to our fellows in Santiago. So for them to come out here and experience some of this heat and some of this uh, dark smoke that, that we get in most typical fires here in the city of Houston is just phenomenal for them. I mean, they're so appreciative of, of what they've been here uh, exploring and learning. And uh, they got one more day here with us, and I'm sure they got a lot more stuff to, uh, to learn about so they can take back to their countries and tell their fellow firefighters. There's 32 members that are attending this class. In the past, we have had classes as large as 20. This is the largest class of Latin American firefighters that we have in Houston. The key things to our success the most important thing is going to be communication. Uh, if we communicate correctly, it's basically going to uh, control the whole outcome of the entire event. So if we communicate, we're going to maintain crew integrity, we're going to maintain you know, account accountability, and we're going to practice our fundamental skills. Um, but on, on the converse side of that, if we don't communicate, you know, everything is going to go wrong, and it's the small things in the fire that, that will stop us going home from our families. It's the small things that will uh, create a situation where, you know, someone might get hurt and possibly, um, you know, we might lose a team leader and, and, and it could also lead to possibly someone uh, being hurt or, or killed in the fire. Ten. Uno, dos, tres. Bombero.